Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Cronag, let's stop in and see the Jarl before we visit this man in jail accused of killing a little girl. Jarl? Time is it? It's three thirty in the afternoon. Jarl, are you in here? Why have taxes not come in from Granite Hill, Nenya? Wait, I think I hear him. Down there. They are only a little late, Jarl. There he the is. The trade routes are affected by the war. We should give them another day. Very well. But when their emissary arrives, I want words with him. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. You are all if I could have a word. Good to see you. Solitude. Finally, someone useful is around. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have some sobering news, shall we say, for you. I've heard from Knight Paladin Cyrus that darkness has settled in over Fall Creeth. I've already talked to a husband and wife who say that their daughter has been slain by some sort of madman. So I'm here to offer the services of the Vigilant of Stendar. Is there anything else that you might need? There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my fane. All right. That's... I would say it was the least I could do, but I will do it. In Stendar's name. On your way, then. Farewell. All right, <clears throat> where is Cronan? Helvard! The guards are looking sloppy today. I want you to reduce their wages for the month. Sir, I will All right, Cronag. My blood's calm. I prefer it boiling. I like looking at that. I would think a man of your amulet of Stendar, even though you're not wearing but so be it. the My blood's armor calm. of the vigilant. I prefer it boiling. It's good to see the amulet of Stendar displayed. All right, I'm told the jail is over here. Hello, guard. Guard? What is it? I'm here with, on behalf of the Vigilant of Stendar to interrogate the prisoner. You there. Hmm? Sending, is it? Come to gawk at the monster. Monster? Hmm. All I see is a pathetic, scrawny little man. I hear you attacked a little girl. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just... lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believed me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. What ring? This is the ring of Hersing. Hersing? I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to. 
but I'll never know. Persing didn't care for my taking it, and threw a curse on it. I put it on, and the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times, like with the little girl. Oh, I... You... Her scene? The Daedric Prince of the Hunt? No wonder I've been sent here to fall, Kreeth. Tell me about these transformations. I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts, beasts? under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. A werewolf. A werewolf? It's my secret and my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. The suffering the Daedra cause will not go unpunished, Sending. So tell me why this ring supposedly made you attack the girl. I had just come into Falkreath. They needed some help work in the mill, and I thought that would be something safe, something I could do. When I saw the little girl, I was just... I could feel it coming on. I could taste her. I needed to hunt, but this pitiful, limited body wasn't meant for hunting. Slow, no claws, weak, mashing teeth for shoeing cud. I held in my rage as long as I could, but it boiled inside of me. She looked so fragile, helpless prey, and then I, I feel terrible about what happened, about what I did. It would probably be best for everyone if I just went away. I think what's best for everyone is if you're destroyed. But tell me, what will you do now? I've been looking for a way to appease her scene. Her scene again. There is a certain beast in these lands. Large, majestic. It's said that her scene will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. You dare call I want it to an beg accident. his forgiveness. Give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. Well, if you are in possession of a Daedric artifact, then I'll take it from you. Oh, my. You would do this for me? I'm not doing Here, it for it. you. I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and... Well, the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck. But you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. Oh, I'm not Farewell. being kind, Sending. I think our paths... What? Wait, what? Stendar's mercy. He truly is a werewolf. All right, we have to pursue him. Hey, you mixed potions. I'm telling you, I heard it. Howling. Those werewolves. It's like it's this way. No sign of Pronag. Alright, I'll just have to go on foot then. I tell you, Fall Creek is certainly seeing its share of darkness. Makes me glad that I joined the Vigilant of Stendar, even though it, was, it wasn't my choice. They rescued me and healed me. And now I've become one of them. All 
All right. Looks like there's some bandits up there. Dendar's flames burn the darkness from your soul. There we are. I recognize that charged arrow. Kronag must be nearby. Beast is right here if I can only get over these rocks. There, look. I call upon Stendar's flames. There, it's destroyed. What? A ghost. Well met, Hunter. Hmm. Didn't I just kill you? And skillfully, too. I've been watching you for ages, it seems. You have the makings of a fine hunter. You may even be my champion. Perhaps. Are you her scene? I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker that your kind calls her scene. I'm in possession of a Daedric artifact, and I request that you remove the curse from it. I may consider it, but you must first do a service for my glory. Oh, of course. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. Well, I will do it. For the revenge and vengeance that the parents of the little girl are owed. Fly, my hunter. There are others who vie for my favor. A bit of competition. Don't dally while the prey flees. So... I'm being given the chance to follow Hercene. Hercene is the huntsman and father of man-beast. He is the guardian of were-creatures. A follower would have improved attacks against weakened targets. The tenants are slaying the living in open combat, especially those stronger than you. Live as a werewolf, prey in the wild, those skilled in light armor are most deserving of her scene's favor. I will decline her scene. All right. Cronag, we need to see where is this hunt taking place. Bloated man's grotto. Weren't we just there? All right. Let's go. I think we were just here. Isn't this where we got Runil's journal? <laughs> All right, let's go and see what's going on now. What can I do for you, friend? Just follow behind.
can't remember. Weren't these corpses here before? Or are they fresh? Maybe some of them are new. So these are the so-called hunters that he sent after? Sending? What's wrong? Well, maybe you Can should... Can I help you with anything? You should wait here. As you wish. You seem injured. Is it your ankle? All right, I'll get medical attention for you. Once I'm done. But in any case, though... would be remiss. Oh, look at you. You've jumped up. Ah, uh, my thanks. All right. Malakath, watch over you. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're better. You. Why? You ask why? Perhaps the question should be, why not? Never thought I'd see you again. <laughs> I had a feeling that our paths would cross. You committed a heinous crime, Sending. As a vigilant of Stendar, I just can't let you walk away. I've been told to kill you. And I would deserve it, wouldn't I? Oh, absolutely. I can't stop you if that's what you want to do. Of course you can. Hersing is too powerful. But if you spare me, I can be a powerful ally to you. And I would promise to never return to civilized life. I know now that I can't live among people. <laughs> Sending. You must know that wherever the Daedra hide. The Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. I'm not doing this for her scene, but I'm doing this for the parents of the little girl that you killed. You have to die. So be it. See ya. <laughs> All right. chest is still empty from our previous visit. And it's a good thing that we did come here first because now it looks like the shrine and Bolar's oath blade, which is in my possession now, I would not have been able to get it on this visit. Look at this, the guards... dead from our last visit, or are these someone else? This is all I suppose Sending killed them. Orcish armor. I think I could use that in the museum. Oh! I'm 
sorry, but the flames of Stendarf will burn you into the light. Walk always in the light, Sending, or we will drag you to it. And I'm going to tear the skin from your body for the sake of the little girl's parents. You've done well, Hunter. Hmm. I did it for the little girl's parents. And for Stendar, because he demanded it. And found my favor. Oh, really? That skin will serve you well, child. Look more closely at it. My glory shall protect you from all this world's grievances. Good hunting. So, I've been given another Daedric artifact. Let me take a look at this. Here. Savior's Hide grants 38% 38 38 resistance to all magic and 38% resistance to poison. Oh, it's quite expensive, too. But we will have to have this locked away in the Dragonborn Gallery so that no one can get possession of this artifact and use it for the wrong purposes. All right. And sending... Had nothing on him. It's getting dark in here. I think, is this the way I came in? I'm kind of turned around here. This came down this way. And I think I need to go this way. Executioner's Iron Sword. I think I know this enchantment. wasn't as troublesome as I thought, but uh, at least now, vengeance has been served. All right, Kronag, I think we should go back to uh, Falkreath and see if there's anything else they need. My blood's calm. I prefer it boiling. It's a vampire. Look at the eyes. Come on! Lord. 
Who's familiar is this? Do not pass. Got him. Someone do something. What's going on now? Is it another vampire? see anything else. I think it's all right, citizens. He must have run off. reminder that we need to step up our efforts. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Oh, there's the little girl. I don't like it here. There's too many bugs. <laughs> You'll get used to it, girl. Mom says I'm getting a new mommy and daddy, so I'll have two of each now. Yes, you will. Glad to see you're okay. I hope your mother is all right as well. What? What? Nari's funny. She tells everyone how handsome and pretty they are. Mom says she does it for tips. Yeah. What a display of color. Everything seems quiet here. I don't know if we can get a room. My blood's calm. I prefer it boiling. Need something? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were Keep the innkeeper. song in your heart to ward off the gloom. All right, look out. Hey. You should clean that vampire blood off of you. You couldn't possibly be the Dragonborn of Legend, could you? I could. I would shout to prove it, but the last time I did that, someone died. All uh, right. Welcome to Valga. Dead Man's Creek. Ah, finally. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Please. Right this way. Oh, you have rooms on this end of the inn? I didn't think so. <clears throat> you have me walking around in circles. Let me know if there's anything else you need. All right, thank you. All right, good night, everyone. Ah, oh, good morning. My blood's calm. I prefer it boiling. Yes, well, we can't keep it boiling all the time. Let's yes? see if there is anything else that is needed from us what? here before we leave. I excuse me. An orc follows to the death. Got to thinking. 
Maybe I'm the Dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. Oh look, it's it's the man that we Hello rescued. Hello again, friend. Hello. How I'll are never you? forget what you did for me. How are you? Can I help you with anything? Just keep your eyes open. Can Need I help you with sir? anything? Not to judge Falkreath too harshly, visitor. The war has been hard on us. All right. You have a grim look. I wonder if Dengir is still alive. Could be dead for what? No. What? Because we did have. There was a dragon attack here. Oh, look, it's Dengear. Dengear? I was Jarl once, but I was encouraged to step down when I took sides with the Stormcloaks. It was an Imperial plot, I tell you. You say there's a plot against you. Well, not against me, against all of Falkreath. Those Imperial bastards are spying on every one of us. Last night, I saw Laud the blacksmith writing a letter. <laughs> Probably sending word to Solitude and General Tullius. Are you loyal to Skyrim? Break into Laud's house and get that letter. Well, as long as Stendar permits it, it will be done. Good. And you mentioned that you were Jarl once. Aye, not so long ago. Some will tell you I stepped down on account of my old age. Truth is, I found out about all the Imperial spies crawling around Falkreath. A few well-placed bribes, and they bought themselves some friends. Suddenly, the nobles are calling for a new Jarl. And all the while, their pockets are jingling with the sound of Imperial septins. They named me Thane. They got my nephew Sidgear in my place. A real friend to Cyrodiil, that one. Hmm. Mind what you say. The Empire has ears all over this town. All right. Need something? Uh, no. Lod's house. Let's see where it's located. Over here. And I have no invisibility potions or anything. Hmm? Must be this Khajiit who has his back towards me. My blood's calm. I prefer it boiling. Oh no, I thought the Khajiit had walked off. Now he's back. There, he's leaving. Just too much traffic here in Falkreath. Hmm. 
Pulk, isn't that Din Gear? He's pretending not to notice that I'm here trying to break in. Ah, oh, no, just as I... be this letter. Old friend, we need all the iron ore you can dig up. Double my usual order. I know the mine isn't as rich as it used to be, but I'll pay extra. All right, I was able to steal the letter without losing the favor of Stendar. All right, let's see if we can get out of here without getting caught. An orc follows to the death. What's the matter, friend? I think we've done it. All right, let's see where Dengir went. Ah, there he is. Sitting on his porch. I was Jarl once, but I was encouraged to step down when I took sides with the Stormcloaks. It was an Imperial plot, I tell you. Here's Lod's letter. What's this, some kind of code? Need as much iron ore as you can dig up? Well, he's not spying, but it's clear the Empire's making Lod smith up more swords and armor for them. Good work. Take this. All right. So, what exactly do you need from me? You may have seen the open grave in our graveyard. Most of the townsfolk think it's the work of a corpse thief. The truth is less pleasant. It is, was, the grave of Vigar, my own ancestor. Dead for centuries now. He is also a vampire. A vampire? My family is entrusted with keeping him buried. But recently, someone stole the ward stone, and Vigar escaped. Look out. All right. Cronag. And you want me to find the ward stone? No, it's yeah, too late better. for the ward stone. What? Vigar must be destroyed. Ah. If this gets out, my family will suffer great shame. All right, then. As a vigilant of Stendar, it is my duty to see that Vigar is destroyed. Good. He will have fled to gather others of his kind. Right, then. You have a grim look. All right, let's go, Cronag. It's time for us to pay a visit to Vighar. <laughs> 